We've got plenty of things going on with the radar for us right now. At least over the last 12 hours, we had a couple of sprinkles, especially to the east. Now, a lot of our area didn't get wet yesterday afternoon. That's why it got so hot, stayed so hot for so long. 77 in Tallahassee and in Thomasville right now. 73 in Valdosta, a little bit on the warmer side of normal. Typically, we'll be back towards 72. There's that 96 we hit for a high yesterday, 5 degrees warmer than normal. You know, the end of August, numbers that start in the hundreds are possible. We haven't had a lot of those, so as hot as it's been, it could be hotter. We've got that going for us. How about 77 is a popular with the temperature this morning with Bainbridge and Mariana. Carabelle joining Tallahassee and Thomasville at 77. A couple of spots like Homerville and Valdosta, the cooler ones at 73. A little bit of patchy fog out there, but right now most visibility is seven miles and better. Here on the satellite radar composite, we can see Harvey over parts of the southwestern Gulf moving towards the coast of Texas, getting bigger, getting stronger. We also have this other energy off the southwestern coast of Florida, and we'll keep our eyes on it for I don't really think it's going to develop, but I think it will continue to push moisture north. To our north, we've got the back edge of all this warm and humid. This first front is trying to get here. If it can, we do remove a little humidity. Maybe we can even bring in a small taste of less hot weather. But we need a little help for this front to get all the way through the air, and I think it's going to struggle a bit today, tomorrow, which means we'll keep the shower chances up a little bit. We'll keep the humidity up a little bit. And today, tomorrow, hopefully in the afternoons, we'll get a few of those showers to knock the temperatures down. And this weekend, we'll have the chance to at least limit some of the heat and some of the humidity. It's still going to be summertime hot out there. Here's Futurecast, and it's going to try to find us some showers. Best chances will be along the Florida Peninsula, closer to that tropical moisture to our south. So there's a lot of things going on, a lot of different factors. The key will be this tug of war between the tropical moisture and, of course, what's going on way out here and that drier air to the north. And at this point in the year, usually, the tropical moisture wins that battle. So let's watch. We'll see, of course, and we'll adjust as needed with the forecast. But for the time being, still going to be pretty hot out there. Winds on the Gulf today, northeast turning more southeast later. There's a check of the tides. High tides are wrapping up at 634. 70s with the patchy fog this morning. It's not super foggy out there. Sun will be up at 710. I do think this afternoon we can still make the mid-90s or at least the lower, if not middle 90s. The key will be the showers. Tonight, those showers fizzle. Temperatures back in the 70s. And over the next couple of days... Hopefully we bring in a little bit of drier by the weekend. I still think the rain chance is up a bit for the summer showers today, tomorrow. Counting on that first front, though, let's hope it does it.